Hey, you want to talk about what? Oh, task by planner? Yeah, totally. Let me tell you all about it. First, we're going to talk about the main view of Task by Planner in creating a list inside this view. Next, we're going to talk about the priorities, due dates, and checklists. All of this is found inside creating a task. Finally, we're going to talk about planners in a Teams channel specifically. There are a few characteristics like buckets and assigning tasks that are a bit different. So first, what I want to show you guys is what it looks like when you connect it to your Microsoft Teams. So first, what you would do is download the app onto your Microsoft Teams, and it will give you this screen. When you click on the Task by Planner, it will show you this home page that shows you your tasks, your importance, your planned items, your assigned to me tasks, and your other lists that you've created yourself. You can always remove this banner to the left side by just clicking this hamburger icon. So your main tasks are going to be all of the tasks that you have created yourself. You can change the priority of any of your tasks by clicking on the three buttons to the side of the task and choosing priority, and you can choose either medium or important. If you choose important, it will add an exclamation mark to that task. All of your exclamation point or your important tasks are going to be at the top of your list. When you click on these three buttons, you can also make a due date and move the task to a different planner if you'd like. You can also delete it from here. These actions will also be at this top banner here. And you can click on the task itself to see these items. But I want to show you the difference of clicking on the task itself. So as you can see, when you click, you can see the priority, which we've already talked about, the due date, which we've already talked about, but then you have a note section and a checklist. This is an opportunity for you to get more detailed about what the task is, or you can have certain items to your task. So for example here, let's say I wanted to order the cookies, and then I wanted to send her an email letting her know that it's on the way. So as you can see now, it says zero out of two of the checklist is done. So now not only do you have the task, which is get Stormy some cookies, you also have a checklist with items that you can check off. When you check them off your list, it will show you how well you're doing with your checklist. Something to note is if you want someone else to have access to this task, you can click on the three buttons at the top right of this window and you can choose to copy link to task. And this will send a link to anyone that you'd like. So now that we're back at this home screen, there are a few different things you can click on here to the left. The importance are just going to section out your important tasks. These are the ones that you have with the exclamation point. Then you can also look at the planned tasks. These are ones that have a due date. They have deadlines and you're supposed to meet them. So for example, I have this one that was sent to me from someone else and it was due on the 29th of October. Then you have assigned to me. These are ones from different planners that were assigned to you by other people or assigned to you in a different planner. This is a bit confusing. So just know that the ones that people assign to you are going to show up here. Your personal tasks are going to show up in the tasks list. You can also create different lists for yourself. So right here, I have a personal list that has different items like booking my dentist appointment or something like that. I think it's very important to have these separate lists if you're doing something for work versus something personal. You can always create a new list or plan by clicking this plus button right here. All you have to do is give it a name and then you can either choose if you would like it to be under your task or you can also put in a different Microsoft team that it can be connected to. These planners down here are my shared plans. These were planners that were created 
under Microsoft Teams. So, for example, I have a test for Sean team that is in my Microsoft Teams section. This has a specific planner inside of it. This is really important to keep separate because you could have a team that you're connected to for marketing, a team that you're connected to for sales, and you wanna have separate planners for those individual categories. Task by Planner does an amazing job with implementing those different sections and keeping them organized, but also keeping them separate. So now we're over in the Teams section of Microsoft Teams. Remember how I talked to you about that test for Sean list? Let me show you what that looks like inside the team itself. First, what you're going to do is go to the general channel of that team. Right here at the top, you see my test Kaylee. Hi, future Kaylee here. I just realized I did not teach you guys how to create a planner inside a Teams channel. Hello? Okay, let's figure it out. So, what you're going to do to create a Teams planner inside a channel is now that I'm inside that same channel that I was talking to you guys about, the general channel, I'm going to click on this plus button, search, well, honestly, you can search task by planner, but it's right here for me. So I'm gonna click on task by planner and what you can do in here is either create a new plan or use an existing plan from this team. I'm gonna create a new one and call it test for video. Then you're going to either, you can choose to post it to the channel which will let your team know that you're creating that planner or you can just turn that off and it won't be notified. I'm gonna click save and it's going to create that planner for the team. Okay, now back to the regular video, thank you. So when you click on this, it takes you to the to-do list of this team. So right here you can add tasks, you can see what has already been completed, and you can even create buckets. Buckets are really interesting, but just consider them like a bucket. So you just dump a bunch of different tasks into different buckets. So you can categorize it however you see fit for your team. Another thing that I think is really cool is you've got this board view, you've got a list view, you've got a charts view, and you've got a scheduled view. Scheduled view is going to be a calendar view of your tasks for your, your whole team. Charts is gonna show you how your team is doing on the tasks. It'll tell you what hasn't been started, what's late, and what's even completed. It will also tell you how the individual buckets are doing, which I think is super cool. Then it will also tell you the board view, which is what we looked at previously, or the list view, which looks very similar to what you see in your personal tasks. There are two things that are different inside a Teams channel versus a list outside of a Teams channel, and that is the assigned to section and the buckets. So, if you can see here, you can choose to assign a task to a specific team member. You can do multiple or just one. Then you can also choose what bucket that task goes into. So that is where you can really edit this in a way that fits your team and your categorization that will help your workflow. Lastly, what I wanna say is all of this is also connected into your Outlook. And this is so cool. You can even see your personal tasks inside your Outlook while you're looking at your emails. We talk about this in a previous video, which I'll link above if you wanna learn more about that. Remember that all of these tasks are going to be synced throughout your Microsoft devices. So I have Microsoft Teams on my phone, on my computer, and on my iPad and all of them are synced so I can see my tasks wherever I go. This is so helpful and I highly recommend it to you list makers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about Task by Planner. Comment down below if you have any tips and tricks that I didn't cover in this video. Also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that button and the notification bell so that you're notified anytime we upload a new video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.